So we're back on another video and since we're waiting for our compressor to arrive for our debubble machine, we decided let's go ahead and open it up and see where the compressors will sit. And while we're at it, go ahead and take a look inside and see what we think. So we've already removed two screws. As you can see, they're really tiny, so it doesn't take a lot of effort to remove them. We removed the two screws that are on the front of the machine right here. And then we've got these screws to remove. And let me put these off to the side. And then on the uh, back side, we would have one down here. And then over on this side, you don't have any screws, but you do have the two Allen screws that are connected to the door mechanism, to the hinge, if you will. So we will need to remove those as well in order for this cover to come off. And I do have my wrench here. And I don't know exactly what size this is, but this is the one that fits. So let's go ahead and get started. And once they're off, you want to make sure you open it this way and not from this way up because kind of here it's a little weird angle. So you can see that it kind of goes in. So be better off if you try to pry it from the front of the machine. And once you get it up over, then you can flip it over this way. Okay. And kind of let the... Uh, plate rest on the side <clears throat> it's kind of the way that I'm going to leave it now it's kind of resting leaning this way okay so upon inspect inspecting where it would where the two compressors would fit because this is a double compressor system one mini compressor will fit here and then another here so it depends on on you if you would prefer you know something that small i mean it might get the job done for the other machine the b2 which exclusively does cell phones but this is the b3 this is for ipads it's going to be dealing with bigger devices because you can see the chamber here i mean the chamber is solid though i will say this it's so you may want to if you do get this machine go with the option of not having the double compressor and just use your own outside compressor which is what we're going to do so upon looking at the machine, you can see that off to the side here, right here, you have the control board that goes to, to the front of the machine. And th this is the front here. And then you can see the control board there. And then you have the wires where the controls that you set, for example, the temperature. And if you did have the dual compressors in there, you can set how much pressure those compressors are going to work. Now you would have to do that separately on your own compressor. You have that. You can set the, the and then of course the amount of time that it's going to be debubbling. You do have the hoses and let's go into the hoses now. So we have from the outside, just outside of this opening is the the connector where you sh where I showed the plug previously where you could connect your outside compressor. So that's going to come into here. You can see that right behind these wires here and if you follow it if you follow it it goes right into this chamber down at the bottom let's go ahead and show that a little better so this goes straight from the outside and right into down and into this chamber now it leaves the chamber and then you have that that uh, tube that goes into this connector where you have one two three connections one of the connections goes way around and goes back to the front of the machine, which is your gauge. It's going to indicate your pressure. That's the first one. So now that we got the first one out of the way, the second one is the one that falls right inside the chamber right here. That's going to control the pressure inside the chamber where your device is going to sit. 
And then the third one here, the third one here that they blocked off for us at the factory is, is the one that would connect to both compressors, the one that would sit right here where these four holes are. And then you might be able to see the four holes here, right there. And this is kind of like the other area right here where the other mini compressor would sit. So you would have one sit here and another one sit here. So this is the way that you could operate this machine without having to have an external compressor. But wanted to show you what the hoses do, where they connect to. Obviously, if you're connecting already to an outside compressor, if you have the plug put on here on the outside, if you're not using an outside compressor, then it will rely on this tube which would normally be, I guess, split into a Y connection, one going to this mini compressor here and here. And that's why the machine on the front of it, it does read built-in double pumps. So you would have one small pump here and then one small pump here. I noticed that these connectors here are the, the snap connectors. I don't know what you call them, but the quick release. So I pressed it in and I pulled this, this part out. So, being that they included this in the kit, why not use it? Because they, they included two of these. One of them is outside of the machine right now just to keep dust from going in. But the other one, we can just pop it in there. And that's going to be a better option for you if you're getting this machine without the pumps. Hopefully, they are doing that already from the factory after seeing this video. Hopefully, this will help with their quality control. But uh, this here... I mean, like I used the analogy just recently, if you if you kink your garden hose, you're still going to have a little bit of water trickle in. So this doesn't thoroughly convince me as a tight, airtight seal, where this right here does convince me that it's airtight seal. So hopefully that helps you if you bought this machine without the compressors. And NASA, if you're watching this, please do that for us. As far as the build, like I said in the original video, it is built really strong. I mean, it looks rock solid. <clears throat> the door is what you always have to be constantly keeping an eye out. And you can, I took the hinge here, you can actually tighten these screws here just so you can have the door a little bit more solid and not wiggle up and down like this. So you can tighten these screws here as well. But overall, it looks like a very solid machine. So thank you very much for tuning into our channel. Please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.